So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys another modded outfit from the outfit transfer glitch. So remember that with the outfit transfer glitch, you do lose all your outfits except for only one. So before you do the glitch, you just want to go ahead and equip the outfit that you don't want to lose. Also go to the ammunition and buy either a rebreather or an earpiece. Doesn't matter which earpiece you buy, just go to the ammunition and buy either a rebreather or an earpiece. And then when you're ready, just come to the clothing store, put your spawn location on last location. Go ahead and hit your pause button, go to online and go to swap character. So I'm going to say this one more time, you are going to lose all your outfits except for only one. So before you do the glitch, you just go ahead and equip the outfit that you don't want to lose. Also this outfit is going to only be for the male characters. So you have to main a male character if you want to do the glitch. So when you get in here, all you're going to want to do is just go over to your second character. And under your second character, it's either going to say edit or delete. If it says delete under your second character, just go ahead and delete your second character. And then after you delete your second character, soon your characters are going to come in. From there, it's going to say edit for your second character. So when you see edit, just go ahead and select edit under your second character. And when your character is gone, you're going to get this alert right here. You just want to go ahead and accept it. After you accept it and your character comes in here, if it ended up being a male like mine, just go ahead and change it into a female. But if it was already a female, just leave it as female. Go ahead and save and continue. Make a random name for it. Go ahead and take the picture now after you take the picture and it's loading it may or may not play the casino dlc trailer for me it doesn't play it but for some of you guys it may play it so whether it plays it or not it's not going to affect the glitch so right now you're just waiting to get spawned inside of your new session and if you already haven't make sure you go drop a like um, on the video and if you haven't subscribed make sure you go subscribe real quick So when you get spawned inside your session, the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and open up your map to check to see if there are any clothing stores in your session. If you see any clothing stores in your session, then just go ahead and make your way over to any of them. But if you don't see any clothing stores in your session, all you have to do is just switch sessions or find a new session. And then the clothing stores are going to be inside of your new session. So if you do see the clothing store, just go ahead and make your way over to any of them. But if you don't see any clothing stores, just go ahead and switch sessions or find a new session. And then the clothing stores are going to be inside of that new session so when you get to the clothing store just go ahead and go inside of it and you want to go to the top section go to the hey. bus deers and purchase the teal lace bus deer so just come over here to the top section go to bus deers and purchase the teal lace bus deer so this one right here just go ahead and buy that after you have that go to the sport jackets and purchase the red bigness brand puffer I went past it by accident but yeah just come to um the sport jackets and purchase the red bigness puffer um red bigness brand puffer my bad
so this right here just go ahead and buy that after you got that just go ahead and back out go to the pants section go to sport pants and buy the spotted muscle pants which are going to be the first ones so just come to the pants go to sport pants and purchase the spotted muscle pants once you have that just go ahead and back out go to the shoes go to the boots and purchase the crimson cowboy boots so just come over here to the shoes go to the boots and purchase the crimson cowboy boots So once you buy this, just go ahead and go to the accessories. Now when you get to the accessories, first thing you want to do is just go ahead and take off your earrings if your female character spawn in with any earrings because that can mess the glitch up. So just go ahead and take off any earrings if your female character spawn in with earrings. Once you take off your earrings, just go ahead and make your way down to the gloves and purchase the Lightwood Land Tactical Gloves, which are going to be number four. So just go ahead and purchase the Lightwood Land Tactical Gloves. Once you got that, just go ahead and come save the outfit. When you save it, make sure you save it in the empty slot that's on your main character. So, for example, if the um, outfit that you didn't want to lose in was in slot 20, you will just save this inside of a different slot. So just save it in the empty slot that's on your main character. Anyway, once you save the outfit, just go ahead and hit B. Go to standard outfits and purchase okay, the Chica outfit. Once you got that, just go ahead and back out. Hit your pass button, go to online and go inside of creator or click on creator. When you get inside a creator, just go ahead and click on create a race and then click on land race. When you get loaded in, just go ahead and click on race details. Go ahead and fill out the title and description. Don't have to be anything specific, just put in some random stuff for it. Go ahead and take the photo and then put the maximum players on two and then put the root type on point to point. Once you've got that, just go ahead and hit your pause button and warp over to the airport. When you get to the airport, just hit B, click on placement, click on place triggers, go ahead and place on the trigger, back out of that, click on lobby camera, go ahead and take it, and then back out of that, and then click on the um, checkpoints. Now when you're placing your checkpoints, the race has to be only 0.62 miles or longer, so just go ahead and make the race 0.62 miles or longer. Once you've made the race 0.62 miles or longer, just hit B twice, and it's going to give you the option to test out the race, and you just want to go ahead and test it out. Once you finish the race, you're gonna get this completed alert. You just wanna go ahead and accept it. After you load in, just go ahead and hit your pause button, go to online, and go to choose character. Once you get inside of here, all you wanna do is just go over to your second character. And you're gonna hit delete on her so make sure you go over to your second character you don't want to delete your main character by accident just go over to your second character and just hit delete on her it's gonna ask you to type in delete to confirm it you just want to go ahead and do that after you deleted your second character two new characters are gonna come in from here all you want to do is just hit B so it takes you into single player so when these two new characters come in just hit B so the game takes you into single player
So when you load inside of single player, all you want to do is just go ahead and hit your password and go to online. Go to play GT online and just go inside of an invite only session. So all you're doing in single player is just going inside of a invite only session. So once you load it online, the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and come save your outfit that you didn't want to lose because it's not going to be Look saved. Around. So just go ahead and come save the outfit that you didn't want to lose. And when you save it, make sure you save it towards the bottom so it doesn't mess up when you're trying to merge outfits. But anyway, once you you've got that outfit saved, else. just go ahead and go to the um, Gorka, Gorka suits or the Gorka outfits and buy the gray Gorka suit. So just go into the um, Gorka outfits and buy the gray Gorka suit. Once you've got that, just go ahead and back out, hit your yeah, fast button, go to online, go to jobs, play jobs, rockstar created, go to versus, and start up crooked cops. And when you start up crooked cops, you want to put the clothing on player owned and invite either one friend or one random to join. So if you don't put the clothing on player owned, the glitch will not work. Make sure you put the clothing on player owned and invite either one friend or one random to join. So when you get in here, just go down to owned outfits, hit right on the D-pad once, and you're going to have this exact same outfit right here. From here, all you want to do is just go ahead and ready up. So when you get in here, all you want to do is just go ahead and open up your interaction menu, go to your styles, go to your accessories, and put on either a rebreather or an earpiece whichever one that you decide to buy and then just go ahead and open up your phone and quit the job from your phone Once you load it online, just go ahead and make your way inside of ammunition and come save the outfit. Once you save the outfit, you can go ahead and delete the component because you're not going to need it since you already got the outfit. But yeah, once you save the outfit, you get to keep it. So that's going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it and liked the outfit, don't forget to drop a like on it, share it, subscribe, and don't forget to turn your post notifications so you don't miss out on further videos.